Let's take a closer look at Bitcoin futures trading now with Tim McCourt. He is global head of equity products and alternative investments at CME Group. So thanks so much for coming on the show today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Glad to be here. Are the Bitcoin futures trading here intended for retail traders or big institutional guys? The Bitcoin futures that CME Group launched on Sunday are really intended for all market participants. You know, one of the things we focus at, on at CME Group is how do we introduce a product into a balanced marketplace such that it attracts customers from all segments, whether it be retail or institutional traders. I would say it's for all market participants who want to risk manage or gain access to Bitcoin. And risk management is important here because Bitcoins, the actual currency, is a big risk. So. Is it better for somebody maybe to take a look at trading the futures versus the actual cryptocurrency? I think it just provides different exposure, right, in terms of how you access the market. One of the things that we were working with customers on when we were designing the product was really listening to their demands. What are their needs? What do they want out of the contract? And one of the things that customers clearly expressed was the need for a a, a financially settled or a, a derivative that isn't tied to making delivery of Bitcoin. People want a financial product that is different than how they trade actual Bitcoin or the, or the cryptocurrencies. So how big is this contract? The contract has a five coin multiplier. So one of our futures contracts is effectively worth five Bitcoins. That's a lot of Bitcoins, especially at the current price. Well, yeah, I mean, I think that's the one thing that is interesting about it where, you know, the price has actually gotten a lot of attention uh, with respect Absolutely. to you know, the, the price of Bitcoin. But as the exchange operator, we're fairly agnostic to it. is the price going up or is the price going down? Uh, we want to make sure when people either need to buy or sell their Bitcoin exposure or, or manage that risk, that they can do so as efficiently as possible. And we think they could do that at CME. How is it going so far? Great. You know, I mean, one kind of over a little bit over one day in, uh, we had a great first day with about 1,100 contracts trading, which is a little bit over $100 million of value. Uh, and it was, it was fantastic. I mean, to see the, the customers across the globe come to CME to embrace this new product and to trade it on day one in a very efficient manner, a very orderly manner for the market, uh, was exciting to watch as someone who, who launches products. Uh, and I think the one thing that I was really pleased with was the balance of customers uh, from all segments who were there on day one where we had about a little over 100 active firms mm. uh, on day one. And again, kind of across the, across the spectrum, retail, institutions, hedge funds, uh, it, was, it was fantastic to watch. Tim, what are your future expectations? Well, I mean, that's always a tough question, right? You know, I think if I could predict the future, I'd be in a, a slightly different position. Um, but when you look at it, for us, it's really about continuing to evolve the, the trading of Bitcoin for the marketplace. Mm. Uh, now that we've introduced futures, uh, you know, it's really thinking about and observing how does that interact with the spot of Bit the price of Bitcoin uh, in the in the actual Bitcoin market, and I think those are the interesting relationships we want to watch, and we just want to kind of continue to increase the efficiency of how customers can manage their risk and access this this exciting market. Well, congratulations! Thank you. Wonderful to be here at CME Group. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you.